assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udo technical developer so uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so for today's our topic is inheritance and specifically we will discuss about the model inheritance so udo provides two types of inheritance a mechanism uh, which we can use to inherit the module so uh, like the first one is traditional inheritance and the second one is delegation inheritance so as you can see in the picture so the first inheritance mechanism allows uh, a module to modify the behavior of a model defined in another module uh, so this is very uh, like common mechanism that is used in udo and you will have to use uh, mostly this mechanism to inherit a model of a module so this is used like if you want to uh, modify some uh, feature inside the udo default functionality so what you need to do is to in inherit the model and then you can add some more fields in the model you can uh, you can modify the fields uh, attributes of the model you can also add some constraints uh, on the model you can add um, some more methods if needed uh, and you can also uh, modify the existing methods of the model if needed so uh, these are the different um, these are the different things that you can do using the uh, traditional inheritance so uh, it is not recommended to do uh, the changes inside the udo default code so therefore this uh, traditional mechanism is used to inherit or modify the uh, udo default model uh, functionality so in the second inheritance mechanism which is called delegation inheritance allows you to link every record of a model to a record in a parent model and provides transparent access to the fields of the parent model so in the delegation case which is used in the case where you need to link uh, the parent model to the child model so each of the record of the parent model needs to link with the uh, record of the child model uh, so these this link is mandatory in this case so you need to use this mechanism only in the case you need uh, to link the parent to the child so let me just give uh, you uh, an example of this mechanism so you can read this uh, to understand this but i will give you a practical uh, uh, example to understand this so if you go to the inventory and if you go to the product so here we can see products and product variants so in this case the products and product variants the uh, delegation inheritance is used so if you go to the product so here we can see the model is product or template and if we go to the product variants uh, so the model name is product or product so product or template is the parent model and product dot product is the child model so in this case every product variant is linked to the product uh, like product so you can see the product template so if we go to the code and we try to understand how the mechanism is working so if we go to the template uh, model product template so here you can see the model is defined as product or template which is the parent model and if you go to the product or product model here you can see the product is defined same like you can see here in this case it is uh, so this is like defined as name is equal to a uh, model which is product or template and here we have inherited so it should be inherited like uh, name is equal to product or product which is the new name of uh, the model and the inheritance used needs to be used the keyword that will be used is inherits which will be equal to the uh, module like the parent model name product or template and then you need to specify the field which will have to be the relational fields between these two models the parent model and the child model so this way you can do the delegation inheritance so if uh, if you go to udo and let me just show you so if we uh, try to uh, like add a group by uh, product template so let me just try to search it with the product uh, uh, let me just try to do it so okay so uh, here uh, the relationship like 
each of this product so for example uh, this is a product uh, product uh, template but if you go to the product uh, variant let me go to the product variant and let me try to search for the so here you can see product template so if we try to edit uh, edit group by template so you can see each of these uh, products are linked to either one product template or couple of product templates. so here you can see these two product variants are linked to one product which is conference shares uh, and if you go here to the products so here you will see if you go to the op conference share here you can see two variants so like those those two uh, variants are linked to the parent which is product or template so this is called a delegation inheritance and you have to use this inheritance only in the case you have to create a relation or link between the parent and the child so in the uh, in the traditional inheritance we have two type of inheritance like class inheritance and prototype inheritance so both of these inheritance are used to uh, extend the functionality of the uh, original model and these are the common uh, inheritance mechanism that are used in odoo so uh, in order to give uh, like to do the practical example for this uh, mechanism like the class inheritance we have to perform uh, an exercise so in order to do so what we need to do is using the model inheritance modify the existing partner model to add instructor boolean field so partner model is actually the udo default model where uh, which we have created a link with the session model to add the instructor on the session so like in this case a pattern model is the uh, model which have already a relation with the session model so on the pattern model we need to add another field which is instructor which should be of type boolean and then we need to add the many to many field which will show uh, which will show all the sessions that this uh, instructor attended so for this purpose what we can do is uh, to use the model inheritance which will be the uh, traditional inheritance to modify uh, this model and add this new field because we cannot make the changes directly inside the udo code so for this purpose we need to make uh, we need to use the mechanism of our traditional inheritance so for this purpose uh, we will have to go to the uh, module which is odoo open academy and then we need to create a new file because we want to we want to add a field inside the pattern model so let me show you the pattern model so if you go to the contacts and here uh, this is the pattern model which is raised at pattern model and here we need to add the field on this model and then on this view so for this purpose we need to create a new field uh, with the name uh, sorry a new file python file with the name a raise a partner okay and here in this field uh, we need to uh, first of all import odoo models from odoo import models fields and models and fields these are the mandatory things in this case we want to use and in the case of inheritance what we need to do is to add the class and then the model name uh, the class name which is raise partner partner like this okay and here we need to add models models dot model like this and then colon and then here we need to add the inheritance so for inheritance we use the keyword inherit and in case of delegation we use inherits so we don't need to use inherits in this case because we want to do uh, like the traditional inheritance so we will add the model name which is raise.partner which you can see like you can find the model name from here model is equal to raise.partner and here we want to add the field which is instructor is equal to fields that of type boolean okay boolean and here uh, we need to add the parameter string which is uh, instructor so this is just a uh, like optional uh, parameter and then uh, we want to use default is equal to false 
so whenever uh, someone create a new record it should be by default false so every you a partner will not be the uh, instructor but you can uh, manually set uh, the value of the uh, of this uh, so we have added a wrong mistake so here we need to add another field which is uh, session ids which will be many to many uh, fields dot uh, many to many so here why we are using many to many fields so as i have already explained in one of the previous video that what is the purpose of many to many fields so i don't want to explain it again but here the first parameter will be the model which will be the uh, like the uh, de destination model which in this case is od, OD open academy dot session because we want to give the relationship with this model and then we will have to give a string okay uh, string uh, is just the label of this field which is uh, uh, which we can say like attended attended sessions like this and this is it for uh, how we can add the fields and the the next thing we need to do is to add this uh, new file that we have added and import it in the init so in, from dot import uh, raise partner so as I already told you that uh, whenever you add a new field in the in the model or you uh, make changes inside the Python file, you will have to restart Udo service and uh, then you will have to upgrade the module. So we have already uh, restarted the Udo service and then we need to upgrade the module. In order to upgrade the module, we need to go to the apps and so we got an error message when we uh, tried to go to any view so if we go to the error message we can see it shows like undefined column column raise partner dot instructor does not exist so it gives me this error because uh, we have added this field uh, in the raise dot partner model so there are some of the base models uh, where you will get this error message when you try to add any new field so for example raise dot partner a raise dot uh, company and a raise dot user so these are the base models of uh, Odo. so you whenever you add a field in these models uh, you will get an error message so for this purpose what we need to do is uh, to comment these file these fields first and uh, then you need to uh, restart the Odo service then uh, you will have to open the fields uh, like the uh, then you will have to open uh, the module so first uh, there are two ways to do uh, so first of first way is like uh, the way i am uh, explaining it so the second way is uh, to uh, like to do it through a command so it is a bit a bit technical thing so i will just try to do it from here so open open academy here so here is the uh, like at the module and then what you need to do is uh, to uncomment these fields and then uh, restart the Udo service again and then uh, you just need to click on this upgrade button so once you click on the upgrade button it will uh, upgrade automatically and the fields will be added to the model so this is one way to do it and the uh, second way is to do it through the uh, command line which i will explain in one of the in the upcoming videos so let me just try to go to the settings to show you if uh, the model has been added so if you go to the uh, models and we will go to the raise uh, raise dot partner So here you can see raise dot partner model and here we need to search for uh, okay we need to search for session ids so session ids has been added if you open it and if you go to the miscellaneous you can see it has been added using this application and we can also search for the instructor so here is the instructor and you can see it has been added using this uh, module so this is how you can do the uh, 
like the traditional inheritance on uh, i have already explained about the uh, delegation inheritance so in the next video we will also we will discuss about the view inheritance and we will add this field inside the view and uh, is you can see it here it is used to add the feature so we have added the new feature which is uh, like the instructor and the many to many feed it is used uh, it is also compatible with the views existing views and it is also stored in the same table so you can see it has not been created a new table but uh, when we go to the model it just uh, it just added the fits in the existing model okay you can see but in this case in the prototype inheritance it will create a new table uh, with the new name which you will uh, see like name is equal to new so you need to add the new name here so it will create a new table in the database and all the fields or the attributes of the uh, methods will be copied in this uh, new table so this is it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also uh, don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you